So you have seen the study guide for the CCSA. And you have seen that it's like 13 pages of just test questions. And you're starting to realize how much you actually need to learn to pass the CCSA. And the thought is passing you like, should I use a brain dump? And there are a lot of them. I mean, if you just, if you just Google it, you get up a lot of results. And I got to be honest with you, I have thought about it. I have tried it, but you know what? I'm the type of person that don't actually learn anything from reading. I cannot consume knowledge by reading it. I need someone to, to explain to me, to show me. I need to try it myself. I need like a video or an audio book or something like that to actually learn something. I cannot learn anything from reading. And I think there are more people like me that needs a different type of learning experience to, to consume knowledge. And hopefully that's why you're here. And I just need to tell you, like my first professional certificate, it was a Cisco CCNA. And I actually went to school for two years, a Cisco Network Academy, and I only had one subject, Cisco. It was the CCNA and it was the CCMP for two years. So I was a hardcore Cisco guy. Two years, 24 seven studying Cisco. Um, and that was something that I was really passionate about, networking. I have been playing around with computers since I was, well, small, <laughs> like this high. Um, so going to, to uh, Cisco Network Academy, it was perfect for me. I didn't need to to study like math or science or English or anything like that. I just needed to focus on something that I was passionate about. So within the school, it was no issue. I mean, we had an instructor. He, he was actually from Global Knowledge and it was used to having like the, the week course that you go on uh, as a company, but we did have him for one year. So he, he did do, do his weekly courses on CCNA, CCMP, even some CCIE stuff. And it was great fun. But the issue was not all days we actually had a class. Some of the days we had self-study. And then you needed to read the course book. And the course book was like this thick Cisco. Only for the CCNA. And it was in English. I'm not a native English speaker. So I didn't learn anything from it. I read maybe 10 pages and I read them over and over again and I didn't consume any knowledge at all from it. So in school you have exams. I mean, you, you don't do the certificate like the CCSA directly. I mean, you need to go one year in school before you do that one. But for each chapter, there was like an exam, an online exam provided from Cisco. And you needed to pass this first time. It was like 75% pass uh, limit. And if you did fail there, you could try again, but then the pass limit was 80 and you can try it again. And then the pass limit was 85. And if you didn't pass then, you needed to remake the course from scratch. So it was really hard, at least for me with topics that was not covered within a lesson. So I needed to find a different way to learn uh, Cisco. In this case, um, it was quite hard to find like good content on YouTube. Keep in mind, this was uh, how many years ago? 12? Yeah, I think 12 years ago. Um, but I stumbled across CBT Nuggets and I purchased a course from, from them, CCNA with uh, Jeremy Chara. Awesome teacher. If you haven't seen his, his content, he actually have a YouTube channel. Uh, you should check it out. It's, it's great. Uh, I will link it in the description below. That was what I needed to actually learn. So I did check his course multiple times just to understand that the concept of networking. When I understood the concept of networking, then I could apply it in real world and I could Google the rest. Then I could find like how to actually apply this, but I needed to understand the concept first. So I needed an inspiring teacher 
to show me visually how things works. That was what I needed. And you may be learning in a different way than I. Maybe you, you consume knowledge like no other person. Like if you read one thing, you remember it fully. Um, then I think you're a small percentage of the world that actually learned that way. But I, I just wanted to say the certificate is not the end goal. The certificate is just a validation stamp on the knowledge. The knowledge is your end goal. Uh, and just to be clear here, I mean, if you get the certificate, that's a, a way to get noticed on the job market. For example, if you're applying for a network admin job, it's great to have a CCNA. This gives you um, in the top level of the well of the pile of the CVs that the recruiters are reading. So you get into the door. But you know what? It only gets you into the door. It doesn't give you anything else. I mean, the recruiter will not just say like, here, you have the job. Because after you have passed all the normal, uh, like, hey, how are you? How old are you? Where do you live? Etc. Etc. All the regular interviews. Well, then it's time for a technical interview. And then they will put someone like me in the room with you. And they will ask you questions. And they will not ask you questions like, how many whys does it go in its head? They will not ask you a certificate question. They will ask you a concept question and explain something to them. Explain to me how a failover works. Explain to me how to build redundancy. Explain to me what is a VLAN. And if you can explain that, then me as a technician understand that you know the basic, the concept of what we're trying to do. And that's, that's what I need to hear. And that's how you actually get a networking job. You need to know the concept, the basic and how to apply it. So to only know answer for a lot of questions, no one cares. We have Google for that. We Google how to do things, but you need to know what you should Google for. So my advice to you is to really learn the concepts on why and how to apply it in real world. If you can do that, learning new things, learning more advanced things about this subject, it will be so much easier. So start with the basic, understand why, understand the concept, and then how to apply it. And the certificates comes next. As I said, the certificate is only your way in. You need to prove your knowledge even if you have a certificate. Because you can use brain dumps and get the certificate. So the brain dumps has destroyed the value of some certificates. And that's why there will be a technical interview where they will check your knowledge and they will check your knowledge based on concepts. So that's it for this video. Please let me know what you think below. Like what certificates do you have? How did you actually get your job? What is your dream job? Um, and what are you going to learn next? So thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.